I'm too big am girl. And why is this radio humming? It really is humming, isn't it? I don't know what to do with this radio. Maybe I should turn it into D Lab. Terry here, D Lab, with the hum monster that Tube Amp Girl introduced you to. Luckily, this is a no name radio. It says Plymouth on the front of it. And the owners don't want it to be a radio anymore. They want it to be an MP3 player, which is a great idea because it costs much more to repair this thing than what it's worth. So let's take a look around the back and see what we got to do. So here's the back of the radio. You can see the chassis pretty much looks stock and the original speaker is still intact. So I plan to reuse that. Now back to the chassis. You'll notice there's something missing. Yep, it's called a power transformer. So this guy is a hot chassis radio. Obviously it would not be a good idea to plug your MP3 player into a shock hazard. So, the only way to do this is to add a power transformer. So here's the plan. We're going to add a power transformer for safety, along with new filter caps, since obviously the ones in here are bad. I'm going to get all this stuff out of my way. And here is the original audio output tube, which was a 25L6. So I'll probably put in a 6L6, and we'll probably use this for the preamp. Then, if you go down here, you'll see the output transformer is right on the speaker, and part of this is also the choke for the power supply. So I'm going to try to utilize that again. So some of this will stay the way it is, but mostly it's just going to be a little amp for an MP3 player. So I'll end up adding a jack somewhere on the back panel here because the owners don't want the MP3 player to be shown so they can plug it in, lay it on the deck and play their favorite tunes. So before you have a heart attack this is a no-name radio. It belongs to some people that are in their 70s. They just want to listen to their little MP3 player. It's not like we're scrapping out a Zenith black dial, okay? This thing is probably worth 20 bucks, alright? So I look at this as an opportunity to give somebody some enjoyment and still have that vintage appeal. So I've got the chassis removed. Tubes are all out. I saved the hardware. The speaker now is hardwired in. So I gotta be kind of cautious so that I don't damage these wires in the process. It's the bottom side of her. You can see there is some evidence of past work couple of new sprayed caps but the filter caps all look original it doesn't matter that's all coming out and we're going to end up with probably two tubes preamp tube and the output tube for the preamp I'll probably use a 6SN7 and the output tube will be a 6L6 and they're going to sit right here next step and the most favorite of course get the old wire cutters going and gut it out I'm also going to remove these two IF cans because they are in the way of where I want to put the new power supply section. So here we go. Radio Pyrrhus, cover your eyes. I'm tearing it apart. All right, I'll probably keep these sprigs. Everything else is coming out. And of course, this power cord is a major violator. He's not grounded, so he's got to come out. And we'll put in a nice three-prong type cord. Things are temporarily in place. Nothing screwed down yet. Power transformer, filter cap, preamp tube, output tube. Next thing, I'm going to get these things mounted and start the wiring. So here's a converted top side of the new tube type MP3 player. Power transformer, filter cap, 6SN7 preamp, 6V6 output tube. There's a new output transformer. And here is the jack for the speaker. And here's the input jack for your MP3. So here we are bottom side. I added a fuse and the grounded type AC cord. Goes to a little terminal board. Cable goes over here to the AC power switch on the back of the volume pot. 
here's your tone control with your low side tone cap and down here there's a little trouble cap all right so this is your preamp tube with all the nice wiring there's your output tube now I made sure to try to just reuse these tube lugs for my terminations of parts rather than installing terminal boards I did have to put one terminal board here for the power transformer and of course the diodes because I did not use a rectifier tube about the only component in here that was reused was this choke and of course the tube sockets but you can see the build is pretty straightforward you got a lot of room in there huh at this point let's cut to the schematic and I'll show you how it was wired so here it is you can see that it's pretty basic straightforward design class A 6v6 type output I utilized an old uh, SE output transformer that I had laying around but it was a perfect match uh, nothing on the schematic is very critical as you can see you got stuff laying around you can pretty much build it the power transformer would probably be the biggest investment you'll have unless you start with a radio that already has a good power transformer in this case since this was a hot chassis type radio no transformer that had to be added the only other thing that I'd highly recommend when you build this thing is make sure that you wire your filament circuits floating off the chassis like in a typical fender type amp don't use those grounded filament tube circuits in, in those old radios okay go ahead and rewire that get her floating and use two 100 ohm resistors to balance the heaters and then she'll be noise free so there's the chassis complete ready to install right here is a tub of dead soldiers the old tubes that were in the radio I'm gonna pitch those there's my speaker quarter inch jack here is the old 8 inch field coil speaker which I elected not to use because I wanted to upgrade to a permanent magnet type and also put in a 10 inch speaker to get better bass so next I'm gonna test the amp on a scope and then we'll do a live demo so here is a functional test of the amplifier using an audio generator set at about a volt a thousand Hertz that is going to represent the level of an mp3 player and those do vary but the one I have only puts out about a volt got a scope over here and we're monitoring across a 8 ohm dummy load resistor here's the old volume crank her up see the old sine wave now if I really crank it you see a little bit of breakup it's absolutely perfect all right here's my tone control a little trouble bass all right so everything looks good let's see what it sounds like I just swung the speaker lead in all right got a little mp3 player there let's bring her up class A audio. Alright, I'm going to put this thing in the cabinet. We'll give it a full test. Well, here's that vintage crusty hum monster that scared away tube amp girl. Do you hear it humming now? No. It's dead nuts quiet. It's because now it has a new life. Keep in mind, this old radio was on its way to the dump before D-Lab said, wait a minute, I can convert that into something very cool. How about a tube MP3 player for your family room? And everybody can sit around and say, man, that old radio sure sounds good. You can fool them on that one, can't you? Anyway, the other great thing about this is, is since the input is an eighth inch headphone type jack stereo, you can actually take one of those little Bluetooth modules, plug it in the back, 
and play it on your phone, huh? We'll see what it sounds like. I put a good microphone on here for this test. So you can hear how she booms. Sounds excellent. I bet you'd love to have one in your family room. Well, take a look at that schematic and you can convert your own and enjoy that old radio that Granny's got up in the attic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah.